Despite the COVID lockdowns, I was lucky enough to leave cool temperate Canberra to go to tropical far north Queensland, which is thousands of kilometres closer to the equator. It was great to see a number of plants that we use as indoor plants here, growing there in their natural environment. It really gives you some great ideas about where they like to grow and what they need to thrive. We visited the Atherton Ranges, where the steamy clouds blow in off the ocean and sit on the mountains, creating a lush tropical rainforest. These maidenhair ferns are growing on the side of the walking track around volcanic Lake Eacham. Here's the maidenhair under home conditions, doing pretty well in the shower, sort of replicating those very misty, cloudy conditions of the Atherton rainforest. The critical element for maidenhair ferns is the drainage. So always check under here, this should be absolutely dry. If the roots are sitting in any kind of water, if there's a pool of water in your little saucer, then that is a bad environment for your maidenhair fern. And you'll see that the leaves will start to go yellow and eventually rot. That's a sign that you've got too much water. Yes, they do like the soil to be moist. So every three or four days, if I'm having a shower, I'll capture the first bit of cold water that comes out and give it just a little top up. And if ever by mistake you overwater them and the water starts to build up in the little tray, just throw it all out. These plants live on cliffs. They like perfect drainage and they really don't like to sit in water. Let's talk about light. We saw these peacock plants growing peacefully under the tropical canopy in the Cairns Botanical Gardens. Here at home, they're doing well under the skylight in the bathroom. And the peace lilies that we saw in the shade of the rainforest trees up there are doing marvelously here in the bright but indirect sunlight from this big south facing window. Orchids need a slightly different balance of light and water. Lots of orchids grow up in trees or on rocks with their roots completely out of the ground. Epiphyte is the name for this kind of plant whose roots don't grow in the soil but grow on top of other plants or rocks. They survive on the debris and the little bit of water that just gathers around their roots. They really don't need much moisture and their roots rot easily they sit in water. So at home, grow them in a very light free draining mix and water them only after they dry out and don't make them sit in water. They grow in nature on the rocks and trees in order to get a bit closer to the sun. So that's the hint. The plants like the Phalaenopsis orchids here can live inside but will need dappled or part sunshine to stimulate their beautiful flowers. Some Vidium orchids can be brought indoors in winter to keep them warm and enjoy the flowers. But if you want them to reflower next year, then they'll need to go outside either into dappled sunlight or bright shade and be given some fertilizer in summer. Indoor plants make a wonderful atmosphere in any house. Take a moment to consider the natural conditions that they thrive under they will flourish at your place too.